Hey guys, we're back with Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes. Let's uh, continue on with the fate of Black Peter. We're still on this case. I wonder how many cases there are. I don't actually know. Uh, continue. All right, so last time we impaled this pig carcass. Because why wouldn't we? All right. I heard something in the background once. I was like, is that in my room? Or that, like, kind of scared me for a second. I like the um, level, like, everything's always very detailed. I really like kind of just looking around. Those are all of your um, pig parts. Boston butt, yes. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go back to um, Scotland Yard. I'm pretty sure, well, actually, I think we have some deductions we can make. Alright, so pin to the wall and um, the strength needed to um, do that. There is a remote possibility that an unskilled, untrained man could uh, manage to pin P Peter Carey to the wall with a harpoon. It requires a much greater strength than that of the average man. To be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through the wall, a degree of skill would most likely be... Alright, so we basically found it was like, it's a lucky throw is possible. So, let's continue with that. Um, let's see, clues... All right, we have all our deductions. Um, let's see what lucky throw. All right, we figured that out. We've decided that. Um, all right, let's see our case book. I don't think we need to look too much at our case book. Um, yeah. It's raised in wealth, but after the desert, his father deserted him. Ten years ago, him and his family fell into poverty. I cannot talk right now. I'm so sorry. I'm like really tired uh, but I'm just I, I'm tired but I don't want to sleep you know I don't know work to earn um all right he remains physically weak yeah I don't know it's still possible he could have done it with the luck throw so I don't think we're gonna get anything out of him though I really don't I think we need to find out who that R. Dawson guy is. Because for all we know, that kid didn't do it, or maybe he wanted whatever's there, or he came with someone else. There's there's a lot of possibilities. Or he was just retrieving something that someone else had forgot to grab. Who knows? Let's talk to the wife and see if she knows anyone named um, R. Dawson. Hey. A hey girl, A. Hey. Man, this loading screen. Oh. Alright, um, wait, we. Everything will become easier. You have indeed suffered a. Yes. He was oh, different, we wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about. Didn't that? we listen to this already, though? How do you know about Plymouth? Never. Oh, shit. Oh, sh we gotta you do that. All right. Da, 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 he was different, da, da, da. wasn't he? When you first met him, I was like watching it. I was no, my hands were nowhere yes, near the keyboard. Holmes. I was like itching my hair. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Head. All right. Um, well kept garden profile of the victim. Pilgrimage. Oh wait, why did we know that? You undertook a the shortest. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Who Wait. could do such a Who could do such a That was it? Oh. I thought we were wrong. That's why I skipped through it. My poor husband. I'm sorry. I really thought we were wrong. I'm s I still think we're wrong. Stone pathway. Okay. Let's see the stone pathway. What about these footprints? Why can I not look at those? All right, land around stone pathway, footprints. All right, there we go. I didn't know how to make that happen. All right, examine. These those don't, don't, match, don't the footprints. match. All right, do any of these are the, okay, they're all the same. All right, so to find those pair of boots, can't we go um 
Let's go back to Scotland Yard and see if we can get the boots of the young gentleman. Hello, hello. What am I doing here? I've done nothing. Let me see your boots, what bitch. What am I doing here? He looks like he has really tiny feet. I mean, he's a little guy. So, I don't think it's it has anything to do with him. And partner, 1883. Did I really just have to like click that? From R. Dawson. I hadn't clicked it before. I just looked at it. My bad. Wow, My friend. friend. Alright. Interrogate suspect. Completed. What? Alright. Dialogue. Uh, Alright. Let's go ask him about the ring. My goodness. I gotta remember to click things. I feel like an ass hat now. All right, so that gold ring, the bro. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. Q. All right, father's jacket. Nah. Select the correct answer. All right, all right, my bad, my bad. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Who I didn't look it? at all the answers. I didn't steal it from I just anyone. saw father's it, it jacket and assumed. to me. I don't know why. All right. Let's see, rings engraving. The ring of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Wait, so the ring's owner? So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Lies. All right, rings engraving. All right, no, Father's jacket Mr. worked Morgan. this time. The ring had what? To your father. Oh, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone, and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working, I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Let me tweeze his eyebrows, let me at him. Well, I will see you soon, young man. All right, so um, how do I get a hold of your daddy -o? What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Oh, shut your face. What, are those bugs? Jeesh. Need to take care of that. I'm not sure pesticides have been invented yet. Wait, what? Locked. Open. Okay, I was like, it's, it's unlocked, finally. All right, so how do we get a hold of the dad? Can you give me this guy? No, you're useless. All right. So we'll search archives of Baker Street. All right, archives. Hey, Watson. You want to do this for me? Wait, where are the archives? That's analysis table. Oh, yeah, the archives right here. Archives. All right. So, 1883. Dawson and Nelligan are bankrupt. The Dawson Nelligan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and, is and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of the company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has uh, since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht, preparing for the departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. All right. Here it is. Here now it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. All right, back we go. So we have this. All right, let's go back to Scotland Yard. I think it, his dad might have done it. Unless he did it for his dad. I don't know. 
I guess we'll find out. Wee! Ow! Boop! Boop! Hey! Hey, girl, hey! Dawson I have and heard Nelligan. the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon, Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. All right, so uh, examine the ship's logs. We have to do that with the beast ring, crime and punishment. <laughs> That's awesome. Such a good book. All right, Nair. All right. Oh, 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 oh. My archive. Oh shit! This is not where we need to be. Watson, why? Wait, we can we have a telescope? Oh dear lord, what? Well, okay then. Okay then, Mr. Holmes. I did not realize you were a creeper. Okay. Out we go. I guess Woodman's Lee to find the ship record. Was there a ship record? At the house. It's been a while since I played, so I kind of forgot some of the evidence. It's so bad. It is so bad to take your time playing a game like this, because then you forget some of the story, you forget some of the evidence, and I don't recommend that. All right, ship slots. That's the one I need. All right, let's this see it. Is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn? Peter Carey. There it is. And then um. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Yeah, pretty much Log about whales. Log notes for July. Nothing special. August. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Hmm. Canadian Pacific Railway. CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere. Ver there are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. All right, so let's locate them. All right, so let's go to Baker Street. Then we can start tracking down the crew members, find out all that gossip about their little whaling adventure. It'll be great. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The Secret Police Division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen Yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. 
They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Oh, puppy! Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Yeah. All right, call Wiggins. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, as his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Oh man, I wanted to wipe his face off with the wet cloth so bad. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Cutscene loading. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Great tell. Well... The constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Hmm. Ah, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Nah, probably not. It's probably just being in the wife. Alright, let's see here. Whoop! Where's this, uh. These oh, there's some the boots. Belongings. Is this the gardener, perhaps? Let's see here. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. All right, let's see. What is this? That's just a little bag. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. All right, so we just got to remove the stains from the um, letter. We should do that, like, uh, right now. We're just going to interrogate him now. Please Hello. escort this suspect for interrogation. All right, switch him Allow out. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. All right, let's look this bitch up and down. Mm-hmm. All right, gardener's hands. All right, let's let's go right to the gardener's hands. Ooh, wait, 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 what is this? Old scar? No biggie. Handkerchief with crested tit. The tit is back. All right, plant remains. And I need to find Gardner's hands, but how do we get to his hands? Do, 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 do. This is always so awkward. Hands. All right, here we go. Bam. All right, so let's talk, man. That's all for now. Aw, oh, man. How you doing, John? What am I doing here? I've done nothing. Oh, still spouting the same old garbage, I see. 
All right, so let's go ahead and um, I think we have to go do this at the analysis table. Then what is this? Find a use, yes. And the boots. So we have a few places to go here. Let's go to Baker Street first, see the note. 